creating. God bless each and every one that's connecting here today. Tina Viesca, Crossing Borders International. Come on now. And on our speaker family, Cruzando Frontera. for us here today. Amen. And I'm so happy once again because we are Facebook Live and Crossing Borders International Live and on our speaker family. So once again, thank you for connecting with us. Amen. Uh, we were going to be doing outside event, but because of the climate, um, of course, sometimes we take it inside and then outside and all this is going on. But it's been a while since I came in one-on-one. -on -one. So I just want to salute everybody that's watching, that's coming on in. Amen. And we just want to be a blessing for your lives and bringing in this word of God. And so thank you for connecting with us as we go here and there and everywhere. And, you know, God is beginning um, to do new things. Amen. And so I'll be sharing those things with you as well. On how God is increasing us uh, in different areas where we can make a, a impact, Amen, and be an impact in different areas, Amen, uh, in our places and in our spaces where God has us here today, Amen. So one of the things that God is wanting us to do is to stay ready, Amen. To stay ready. Uh, and being positive, always being positive on a positive note, knowing that, you know what, God is doing something new. Amen. And God is stretching us and we're being tried and pulled. I mean, sometimes it could be like, hey, you know what, just take out this tooth because it feels, you know, it's so very painful. My husband just went through that. Amen. And so... So we see that um, th those things happen, amen, uh, in different areas within our lives where we have to see, okay, Lord, I know that you're doing something and we want to trust you. We believe it in you on everything and what you're doing and what you're going to do. Lord, we trust you. Amen. Let us pray here today. I really feel the fire of God. And praying on this word, amen, as we move forward. So, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we are staying on a powerful note, Lord, because power and staying positive 
and all areas, ways, and forms, and where you have us, what you've created in us, what you've birthed in us, and what you're doing in us. Lord, I know without a shadow of doubt, we will not be the same again. Because, Father, you are bringing enlightenment. You're pouring down your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding. Father God, you are given. And you have given so much, Lord, that we are pouring out today. I thank you, Lord, that which you have begun. Amen. You're faithful to complete that promise within our lives, Father God. And I want you, as we pray, I want you to make that personal. Make it personal. I want the heavens to shake over your petitions here today. I'm believing with you. We are in agreement because where two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Jesus is there in the mess. And when two are agreeing, I'm telling you, heaven will respond for your life. Heaven is responding for the things that we need and the things that we're hoping for. I said it earlier. When we are praying, okay, we are believing what we ask for. And literally the word of God says, that we will receive. Amen. We will receive. God will pass through heaven and hell and come hell and high water. It don't matter. That God will make that way for you. God is precious. And I'm telling you, church, we are precious in the sight of God for all things and all times and all areas within our life and our coming and our going and our here and our there. God sees us, God knows us, and He's saying, you know what? We are insisting and we are shaking the heavens, believing God that God's going to bless your business. God's blessing your home. God's blessing your family. He's increasing you in your knowledge and your wisdom. Amen. It's just like I shared on Sunday. If you need to go back to get Sunday's message where, you know, our spiritual life can be this high. But when our mind, come on now, is not at a level of all high, according to God's sound word, We're doing the wave offering. Are you seeing that? And where the wave offering is, it's like saying, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if God's going to come through or I don't know if God's going to meet that need. Or, you know, what do I do here in this area? What do I do here in that area? That's according to your own will, your own mind and your own emotions. And because we are dealing with our own mind, our own will, our own emotions, guess what happened, church? Then our body, there's a reflection that happens. And the things around us are even our personal bodies, our personal lives, our personal situations. So, church, we have to kick that devil out. Amen. Put on the mind of Christ be stretched in all areas within our lives to see that God will meet your needs all according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you for all those that are connecting in right now. God wants to meet your needs. Amen. So it has to be very important sowing seeds can be a smile, sowing seeds, taking groceries to somebody else's house, sowing seeds can be shaking the hand of somebody else, sowing seeds, it's not only money, money is universal, it's wonderful when we have it, come on now, but we have to know, can we be a channel, a blessing, amen, for the kingdom of God, I've always shared with you before, Purpose 
but we have to have the passion with purpose to do what God has called each and every one of us to do. Our name to be written in that Lamb's book of life. And each and every one of us has a purpose that God has a perfect plan for your life so that you can move in the lives of others of shaking. I don't care if it's bacon. Come on now. If it must be shaken and bacon, you know what? Because you know what? We eat too. This is our body. Okay. We eat too. We consume as well. Amen. And so everything is not only on a spiritual high point. It's a physical point. It's a mental point. Amen. He's created us with this mind. He's created us with our feelings, our emotions, even though we are not moved. Come on now. By feelings and emotions. But even Jesus himself had compassion. Have compassion upon different scenarios, different scenes, different areas of people within our lives, our surroundings. We see something going on. You know what? And if we can do something about it, we act upon it because we are the body of Christ. He's the head and we're the body. And we are being positive and acting out what God has wanted us to do. I'm telling you, God is calling out those who want to be those mountain movers, mountain shakers. Come on now. Those faith believers, you know, doing the work of the Lord. Sometimes it may be physical. Sometimes it may be spiritual. And, you know, I'm talking about a response and ties and offerings of response and acting towards. And even if you say, oh, well, I give to the church all the time. Do you volunteer? Do you volunteer to do different things? You know, each and every one of us gets stretched and God stretches us. He stretches our boundaries. He stretches us and the things that we can or even the things that we cannot do. But know that if God has put it, those things in our heart to do, then that means that we can do it. Because when God has put it into our heart, that means that God has, is the forerunner, okay, of all things. He's the God of the Alpha to the Omega. He's the God of the beginning all the way to our very end. Amen. And God wants us to live on a powerful note of a being positive and staying positive in every area within our life. I don't know about you, church. I just don't want to be that wave offering, amen, to where then my body, my my mind, the different things that are happening in my life, that there takes an effect. So my mind must be alerted and alarmed to everything. What God is saying, okay, this is what I need you to do. This is what I want you to do. This is what I I want you to go. This is where I want you to do. This is important for me and to me for us to act, for us to do, for us to respond on the call of God. And so that's why it's so very important to know the plan and the purpose that God has for you. So that we can carry out the plans and the purpose that God wants to continually to do in and throughout our life. This is year after year after year that God has so much in store for you. God wants you to be bold. Be bold and be strong and take the land. Amen. And I'm telling you, these are words that impacted my life, that when God was moving me in faith and faith to faith to faith, and still, and still, church, there's different areas 
that God will speak to us, that we can continually to move forward, to be those overcomers. We are more than conquerors. Come on now. To any insight or anything that even what I can believe, God is still bigger than all those things. Are you with me, church? And so first and foremost, we have to know who we are and what God has called us to be so that we can act upon those things and take the measure that God is taking us to. Amen. And so we have to be in agreement. Amen. What God is aiming for us to do. You know, out of the word of God, I will be reading Psalms 34 and I'll be reading uh, a lot of verse of that scripture. But I want to share with you today that when you seek the Lord, when I did a little bit of research on the word itself seeking, it's that thing which we crave for. God wants us to crave for the peace. Seeking is something that we require of God. You know, this is something that I just have to have. I'm sure in times in life, we've gone through life and you're like, no, this is calling my name. You know, we heard it before. My name's on it. You know, my name is on it. Come on now. And I'm pursuing this because you have a passion and you have a purpose to pursue and we go after it. See, that's what the word of God does for our lives. That when we apply the word, we're able then to obtain it. We're able to run after it. We're able to go for it. We we are craving for it. And you know, because it's something that God wants us to do or even what God wants us to go. You know, because like I shared with you before, church is not the four walls, okay? The church is the church on wheels, amen? And I'm talking about the wheels of our feet, okay? So everywhere that we go, we must be impacting those around us and be a light there for those in the darkness. God wants us to bring life and to every portion and to all situations that wherever we go and even the things that we do, that we may set the captive free. Come on now, say it with me. Setting the captive free, making the blind eyes to see. Amen. Come on now. Making the lame to walk. Okay. Because we serve a God. That's all powerful. That he can open up the ears of those who cannot hear. And those who cannot speak, those that are muted, he makes them to speak as we speak the word of God in and around and for our lives. Amen. There is so much through this word of God, I'm telling you, where we can impact the world and do each and everything what God has called us to do and to be and to act upon. Amen. Let me share these words of scripture here for you. I know we're stretching it here for a little while. I'm not going to be too much longer. So I want you to grab a hold. And if you have the word of God there, I want you to heed to that word. Amen. And if you want to see the whole teaching of this word of God, go back on Sunday. Amen. On Sunday's word. And you'll be able to get all the word of God on Sunday's word. Amen. So there in Psalms 34. I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will always on my lips. His praise will be always on 
my lips. Amen. See, God is calling us to do so much. And he wants us to be ready in all times. Amen. And so that's what the Lord wants us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying that the poor will hear and they will be glad. Glorify the Lord with me and let us praise his name together. You know, it's something about coming together and praising the name together. Of the Lord. Once again, we're talking about unity. We're talking about prayer. We're talking about coming in and delivering this praise and this worship unto God. When I asked the Lord for help, He answered me. He saved me from all of my troubles. How many troubles? Do you feel like you are in at this point in your life? God has promised that he will deliver us and that he will save us out of all of our troubles. Amen. Glorify the Lord with me and let us praise his name together. See, as I asked the Lord for help and he answered me. And he saved me from all that I fear. What are you fearing today? What are we fearing today? I'm always making it personal. If there's any fear, I want you to put faith in that. Well, how do I do that, Sister Tina? You begin to speak that word of God upon your matter of any areas. If you're fearing the lack of something, no I don't have lack. I always have enough. The Lord says that I have all the riches and thereof. That I always have more than enough. Amen. It looks like my cupboards are blind. No, you know what? God says he will meet all my needs according to his riches. Amen. And his glory. God's going to get the glory. And I will receive those things even though I don't see them right now because I'm walking by faith and not by sight. But believe me, when God's glory comes, we feel it, we know it, and before you know it, you got what you need. Amen? And there will be more than enough. Why? Because God will save us from all of our troubles. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. See, we examine and see how good the Lord is. And happy is the person who trusts the Lord. See, that's going to be our next level of faith there. That where we are not believing, He will take us then to believe. Where then we're activating our faith. And then we're activating the truth of the word of God. See, if the Lord says the sky is blue and you look up and it's and it's not yet blue, believe me, that sky is going to be blue. You may see orange, you may see red, you may see whatever you see. But when God says it's going to be blue, you know what? It's going to be blue. And guess what? That's what color it is today. (laughs) We're here in Fort Worth, Texas. We've been getting the drizzle. Come on now. We've been getting the rain. And the sky is blue today. It's not orange. It's not red. When God wants to make it something, that's what he's going to do. And that's the same thing. What he is doing and showing us in our lives. Amen. And as people of God, we got to know how to rest too. Amen. Because we're going and going and running and running and doing and doing and moving and moving and shaking and shaking. And you know what? We got to know how to be still. I literally, God gave me a plaque. And it said, be still and know that I am God. Now, I'm not going to tell you all my secrets, (laughs) but I just give you some insight. 
I literally put that plaque on a top of all these little papers that we get every month, you know? And I just put that on top of that. And I said, you know what? Be still and know that I am God. See, God's going to make a way. Where there seems to be no way, church, God will always take care of his people. God always takes care of his family. God always takes care of his loved ones. And I'm telling you, church, today, God will always take care of you. I know our situations may be different. Maybe my mine is different from yours. Well, you don't know where I live. Well, you don't know my circumstance. You don't know my situations. You don't know what's on my body. You don't know who's in the hospital. You don't know who's laid up in the bed. You don't know what's going on. You don't know this. You don't know that. You know what? I don't have to know. But I know one thing that I do know. I can come in agreement with you for your needs, for my needs, for those who are connecting with this and believing in this word of God. And you know what? The most important person that knows is the almighty God that sees all things, that knows all things. And literally that is everywhere where there's no place that we can hide. God is there. So there is trust and development that trust today that God says that when I ask the Lord for help and he answered me and any area where I may have fear, you know what? The Lord will help me and he's going to help us to make us happy. Amen. A happy person. And you know what? God says that we will never be disgraced. There's another word of scripture that says, you know what? God will never take us to shame. You know what? Because God knows our present situation. Examine and see how good the Lord is. I'm here to give a check mark today and say that our God is so, so very good. See, church, happy is a person who trusts the Lord. And, you know, God wants us to trust in him, to trust in the name of the Lord, to trust him for our needs, to trust him in our pers- present circumstances, to trust him in every situation of where we're at and where God is leading us. See, he saved us from all of his troubles and see the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fears God and he saves them out of all of our troubles. You know what, church? I don't know what troubles you have today, but I'm here to tell you, church, that God will save you God is saving me out of all of our troubles. Lift up your hands today. I know you may be holding the phone. Maybe you're seeing this on a podcast. Uh, Maybe you want to see it again. Maybe you got to see it again, see it again, see it again. And put it on your TV and, you know, just bring church in your home and say, you know what? I need to see this. I need to hear this. I need to know that God is for me, that God is going to work this out. God, as I plead and as I pray that there is someone in agreement with me here today, that God is answering my prayers today. Let us pray today, church. I feel God in this house here today. Amen. And I am so thankful and I am so grateful that I am, I know that you're going to send me your testimonies. You may be seeing this on a watch party. You may be seeing this on a replay. And you know what? Just the spirit of God just fell right there where you're at. And your spirit became quickened and alive. And the fire of God just fell there. 
There is no distance in prayer. And I'm telling you, even to the third world countries, we serve a God that is not a liar, nor the son of man that he will repent. God will meet your very needs here today. So right now, Father, we have surrendered our life, our hearts, our soul, our mind, our strength, our bodies, Father God, that everything, that who we are, Father, that it belongs all to you. And I thank you, Lord. And I praise your name, Father God. I'm already thanking you for it. Even though I may not have it in my hand. Even though I may not have it in my refrigerator. Even though I may not have it in my cupboard. Even though I may not have it all around me. Maybe my circumstances that I'm not seeing it the way that I need to be seeing it. But Lord, you're going to change it. You're going to change my atmosphere. You're going to change my mind. You're going to change my heart. You're changing it even now. That the outlook that God says in my troubles. That you come and that you save me. You come to deliver me. And you've taken me out of this miry pit today. And I thank you, Lord, that you've responded to my cry and you heard my voice and you've delivered me from my guilt, from my shame, from my disease. Come on now. From every sickness. Father, you deliver me even from all of my pain. Lord, you are working in me, inside out, nothing missing, nothing broken. Lord, from the very crown of my head to the very soles of my feet, I receive it, Lord, what you have for me today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you, church, for gathering on this podcast with me through speaker as well as on these live videos uh, Crossing Borders International and Tina Viesca I want you to be the great evangelist today share this with your loved ones amen share this on your social media platforms to be a blessing and being that great evangelist and sharing the word of God today. Amen. Go into all of my different uh, social media platforms. Amen. If you want to make it to the website, you can. If this teaching has been a blessing to you, amen. We are full-time ministers. Amen. Going into the streets, visiting here and there as the Lord, you know, leads us and guide us. That's where we are. Amen. And so, I want to thank you personally. Maybe you want to come a partnership with this in this ministry. Look up on Sundays, mornings, uh, church at the gathering. Amen. Get that word of God. Amen. And I will give you a full extent of what we've been doing. Church, we have been busy. And I know that it's not only about being busy. But it's about doing God's business. The purpose with the plan. Amen. And I'm telling you with passion. Amen. With passion. God bless you, church. We love you. Thank you for soaring high with me here today. Thank you that are coming in. Miss Andrea and Miss Lena, we love you, girl. And all those that we see you up on the replay. If you want to be a blessing to us, don't forget, reach us through Messenger. Amen. Let me know. Maybe blessing our third world countries, blessing our church and community. Amen. Or just blessing the ministry with all the things that we are having to do and all of our equipment and so forth to to take us to one spot to the next spot getting gas just all of it amen and knowing that when you sow that you will reap amen 
that promise. We love you, church. God bless you. Until next time. Amen, church. Amen. Bye. God bless you. God bless you, church. We love you. I know it's been a little while that we have connected with y'all guys, but know that we do love you. Amen. And thanks again for connecting with us. Thank you for our, our Nigeria family, all those that we're connected in Africa with as well. You know what? We are in prayer for you. We love you. God bless you. And until next time, amen. God bless. Speaker family, come on now. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining in all of our social media platforms and blessing, blessing, blessing and are coming in and are going out. I know, I know, I know. It's a little long wind there, but we'll be all right. Knowing that God is doing so many things. If you have not known, I just want to share with you. We have a new store, a Crossing Borders store. Amen. It's under Tina Viesca's Designs, and you could just Google it. It'll pop you right in there. Or you could literally, at the click of a link, through any of our social medias, or also to through our store. Amen. We are going to be pushing that to go viral. And so I really want you to think about it. Uh, sowing into this ministry, amen, so that we can continually to promote this word of God. I'm telling you, we are going to do it as well on our apparel and even the things that we wear. If they're going to cover our mouths, you know what? We're going to speak louder through our clothing by sharing and giving the word of God. We love you. Hey, stay tuned. And be so very blessed and highly favored. God bless you, church. Until next time, we love you so very much. Crossing borders with a voice of alert. Cruzando fronteras con una voz de alerta. And on Tina Viesca, Facebook. God bless you. And YouTube, God bless you. And on Twitter, God bless you. And on Instagram, God bless you. God bless you, church. God bless you. Amen.